Hi, boys and girls. I uh, hope everything is going well. Um, today, we are going to just be doing some practice problems and then um, have you do a couple pages in your pink home connections page along with Dreambox. So what I want you to do now is you're going to do these two problems here. Uh, first, you're going to put these fractions in order on the number line and also make sure that they're in correct spaces. Um, and then you're going to solve the story problem here. So we have Mrs. Fetterson bought all of the Reese's peanut butter cups that the grocery store has. They had three boxes of them. Each box has 10 packages and in one package, there are two Reese's cups. How many cups did she buy? And then here's a challenge one. Um, one package, so one of these, has 250 calories in it. How many calories did Mrs. Fetterson eat if she ate all of the peanut butter cups that she bought? Okay. So pause your video right now, do these problems, and then um, press play when you are finished and we'll go over them together. Okay, let's go over this together. So we're gonna put these fractions on the number line here. I always go with what I know first. My zero is gonna go here. My whole, my one is gonna go over here. So these fractions are in between the number zero and one. I'm looking again to see if any of them pop out as something I might know. Um, and one fourth, that one I know is gonna be closer to zero, but I have to kind of judge where I feel like four equal pieces could fit on our number line. So I'm kind of looking at, all right, this looks like it could be one fourth, and then I have to take that same amount and it should be kind of the middle. I might mark that middle right now for me, just because then it helps me divide it up a little bit. Um, and so I think that that is as close as the middle as I'm going to get. And I know that half of a half is a fourth. So that guy is going to go right here. Okay. Um, looking at this, oh, three, six is a half. That's equivalent to a half. So I already marked that without even realizing it. So I can put that guy right there. Um, now looking at this, I see... Oh, two four or two eighths. So if this was cut into eight pieces, I would need two of them. And I know one eighth is half of that. So this is an equivalent fraction to one fourth. Those two are at the same spot. All right. Now I'm looking at five six and one third to figure out. Um, I know that this line here needs to be cut into three pieces for this. And because it's three pieces, that is fewer than four, so it's gonna be bigger than a fourth. Um, so I'm thinking that it's gonna go kind of right here. And I'm thinking that it's one third, two thirds, three thirds. Yeah, that looks pretty close. Three thirds would get me here, two thirds would get me to right about here. It's about the same distance. So now my five six, I know six six is a whole. So I have to now figure out how big is a six. We also know that half of a third is a six. So right here would be one six. So I'm gonna take one six, but I'm not gonna go one six, two six, three six, four. Six. I'm gonna take one six and kind of measure out where I think that is right here. So I think. Hmm. I think one sixth is going to be right here. So I'm going to take make a line and that's about where my sixth is. And I'm going to now go way over here and I'm thinking six six minus one six is five six. So I'm going to put my five six right there. Okay. 
that's where I came up with for my fractions on a number line. Now let's take a look here at Mrs. Federson's problem. I miss her so very much. All right, so Mrs. Federson, she does love her peanut butter cups. So let's go through. Mrs. Federson bought all the Reese's peanut butter cups in the grocery store has. That's great information, but I don't really care about that. They had three boxes of them. I do care about knowing about how many boxes she bought. And each of those boxes has 10 packages. So this is considered a package right here. Okay, that's kind of what, if you went to the store and bought one package, that's what it would be. And one package has two Reese's cups in it. Remember, they kind of sit like this in the package. So the Reese's cups kind of sit like that. So I have to figure out how many cups did she buy? All right, so she bought three boxes. Each box had 10 packages. So that means that she has a total of 30 packages, or 30 of these, yes, these packages here. But I wanna know about how many of the individual cups. And if there's one package has two cups in it, so now I need to just take 30 packages, times it by two cups in each package. So I can think either two times three is six, and then I have a zero in my ones right there. Or I could do 30 plus 30, because that would give me 60. So either way, I have 60 peanut butter cups that she bought. Now for the challenge. One package, so this one package right here, is worth 250 calories. I hope you have your labels on your answers. We have to figure out how many calories did Mrs. Federson eat if she ate all 60 of these peanut butter cups, okay? There's a couple ways you can go about doing this. You could work with how many cups you have and figure out, okay, if 250 divided by two cups, and then you would take that number and times it by 60. We'll check that later. Right now, because I know that the package itself, the whole thing is 250 calories, I'm going to work with how many packages I have. So I have to do 250 calories for one package. She's gonna eat 30 packages of them. So I have to figure out how many calories that will be. We've been working on double digits or higher multiplication. So this is great practice for us. Um, there's a couple ways we could go about this. One, we could make it easier on ourselves by saying that this one has a zero and this has a zero, and I'm gonna forget about those zeros for right now and just do 25 times three. 25, I immediately think about quarters. Quarters are 25 cents, so 25, 50, 75. So I could count by the quarters for that, so 25, times three is 75. But I ha had to forget about not only one zero, but two zeros. So then that means that I have to put two more zeros onto the end of my answer. So that means that my answer is 707, I'm sorry, 7,500 calories. Okay, let's check it a different way. Make some more space. Like I said, we could think about it with the cups. So 
I have 250 calories for two of the peanut butter cups. If I split that up, I end up with 100. So 200 split is 150 split is 25. And I also know this because 125 plus 125 equals 250. So one cup is 150 calories. I have 60 of them. So now I'm going to solve 60 times 125. I am going to make this easier on myself, and I'm going to ignore that zero first. Okay. So I have 125 times 6. I know you've done this like this with Mr. Gobler in the past. So I'm first thinking 6 times 4. 5 is 30. I'm going to put my 3 because now it's 30. So it's 3 tens. So that those 3 tens need to go in the tens place now. Now I'm going to do 6 times 3 or 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. And then I add these on 13, 14, 15. So again, I put my 5 below. And that one needs to go over because I can only put one number below. Okay. And now I have six times one is six plus one more is seven. But remember, I have this zero right here that I got rid of just to make it smaller numbers for me to do. And now I need to go and add that back into my ones place because I cannot forget that that zero is there because I only did six times 125 and I needed to do 60. So I'm really multiplying that out again. So now I ended up with 600 or I'm sorry, 7,500 calories. Checked my work. Both of them got the same answers. So that must be it. Just so you know that the average person should have about 200 calories a day. So Mrs. Federson, do not eat all of those. You will have a huge, huge tummy ache. All right. So today your job is in your pink book. 127 and 128. And you also need to go do your dream box. Remember that you are getting your two lessons in a week, 15 minutes or more. I really do think that you could do more during the school year. We've always strived for 10 lessons a week. I think um, not a week, every two weeks or five lessons a week. So I think you should really try to push yourself to get to five lessons a week if you can. All right, everyone, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.